Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how are you? Let's tap into this energy like we always do. See if it changes, see if it stays the same. Spirit, come through. Hold your ears. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Let's see what we got, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have it. Come through spirit. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. What messages do you have for Virgo? What's the energy around Virgo spirit? All right. All right. I hope you guys had a very good week. And I hope you have an even better weekend. Okay, first position you have is the strength card, okay? Ooh, there we go. You have the devil in reverse. Mm. Okay, you have the fool card, okay? We have the four of cups. You have the Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. You have the Six of Swords. Alright. You have the King of Wands. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Magician. You have the Empress. You have the Ten of Cups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five of Cups. Ooh, that's a lot of Cups, Virgo. You might be a little bit emotional right now. Some of you might be doing a great deal of crying, okay? Just emotional as hell. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see what's going on. Where's my wood? All right. <laughs> Give me a minute. Let me look this over. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Lordly, lordly. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Mm hmm. All right, you have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. We would definitely take them, okay? At the bottom of the deck. Oh, you have six major arcanas. You have the star first at the bottom of the deck. Light workers. Some of you guys are just straight up light workers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anyway, someone wants to uh, heal this relationship with you, Virgo. Someone wants to heal. Whatever connection you guys have, all right? No matter who this is, they want to heal something with you. You guys could have had an argument, could have had a disagreement or something like that. You're on outs, you're not speaking. This could be an Aquarius, okay? Mm -hmm. They want to heal this with you, all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see you doing a great deal of self-care, too. You're taking your spiritual baths, you're keeping your aura clean, light worker energy, okay? Very good. Uh huh. Yeah, this person loves you very much. Okay, they don't tell you, they don't show you, but they do. Uh huh. They love you very much. They want to reconcile with you. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, they want to reconcile with you. We got the five of wands in reverse. Lord have mercy. They want to call a truce. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is res resolving some sort of conflict. Okay. Whatever argument you have, whatever disagreement, they want to end it. They want to resolve it. This person wants to be. Uh, with you, a part of you, not against you. They don't want to be at war with you anymore, okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you got communication coming. I'm going to hear from them soon. All right. Yeah. Some of you need more time to heal, though. Yeah, this was so like a painful ending. This person betrayed you. Some of you feel like this person don't know no loyalty or they don't have loyalty or something like that. It's kind of like hard for you to forgive this person or something like that. You're still overcoming a great deal of pain. Um, out of this very painful situation here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're healing and you're trying to move on, but 
you it's this person wants you to forgive them they want forgiveness from you and it's you some of you not all of you some of you need a little bit more time to heal okay you can't get past it you can't get over it or something like that you just feel totally betrayed or backstabbed by this person and you just need a little bit more time to get over it okay mm, look at that spirit come through let's see what else we got here First position, you have the strength card, okay? Ooh. Some of you are finally getting the coverage. You're finally getting the strength to walk away from a very toxic relationship, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. It's the struggles. It's the struggles that you've been through with this person. It's the struggles that they put you through or the struggles that you've been going through your whole life, however you want to look at it. Uh, these struggles have developed a great deal of strength in you, okay? You didn't give up. You didn't give in. You didn't become negative. You didn't become bitter uh -uh, or hopeless. Yeah, you have learned to make yourself a priority, okay? Took you a long time, though, to... to uh, get back to your senses or get back to your old self yeah because now you're standing in your strength you're standing in your power you're finally at a point where you you no longer want to continue to stay in this situation that no longer serves you yeah you're going to be breaking free from a very toxic relationship or a toxic situation here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah this is leaving a toxic toxic situation that you feel no longer serves you okay or you no longer want to deal with this energy something like that yeah mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just totally unfulfilled in this relationship. Totally unfulfilled. It's like you have never been fulfilled in this relationship the whole time you was with this individual. You probably didn't even like their sex. You might have thought their sex was crap. Yeah, you don't care. You want to move on now. You want a fresh beginning. You want a new beginning. You feel this person just don't invest enough. They don't give you enough. You feel more re rejected than accepted. Okay? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this you might have made an offer to this person. This person just didn't give. Yeah, they just didn't they just didn't participate too. They were too busy uh worrying about what somebody else was thinking or something like that, or they was too busy focusing on a third party situation. However you look at it, you wanted more with this person, but they just wasn't investing back in it. You know, they, they this was very one sided, like limerence energy. Okay, you said cool and you're moving on. You got yeah, you're gonna get your wish fulfillment and you know it. Yeah, you have moved on. You're going to get your wish fulfillment, whether it's with this person or not. You're just moving on, uh-huh, because you're not happy. You wasn't fulfilled in this relationship, and you finally got enough balls or, or enough guts to cut this person off. You've been tolerating this for a very long time. This could have been a spouse. This could have been a long-term relationship that you were in. This just could have, you know, it just you just took as much as you can take or something like that. You were just very unhappy. This, uh-uh. Yeah, you was very unhappy. This was not... Somebody that was all in. Mm -hmm. We got fuck boy energy right here, okay? And if you hear, if you are a guy, this is fuck girl energy. Just place it where it applies. Somebody was half in and half out, okay? With this King of Wands energy, love for the moment, okay? This is a bossy ass in individual too. Some sort of leader type quality they have here. Yeah, yeah. This is Mister. Uh, <sighs> here today, going tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. But now here they come. Thinking they still have a hold on you, okay? This person still thinks they have you in their in their grips, okay? This person also could be married. Oh, yeah, this person very, very much could be married. Most of the King of the Wands are married. Hence the term that, you know, they're here today, going tomorrow, okay? This person is planning to take action with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be kind of like an act of desperate of desperidity. This person is desperate now. They're desperate. They feel that you're pulling away. This is a big, giant control freak here. This person is feeling like they're losing control. Okay? Yeah. They're ready to invest in you. Now they're going to offer this commitment. That what you was offering and what you wanted with them, now what's coming. Okay? Be very careful with this person, with this magician card. This person could be very manipulating at times. Okay? Now they see your worth. Okay, with this empress energy. Okay, you could be the mother of their child. Okay, they could be trying to get you pregnant. Now they see your worth. They see that nurturing side. They see their loving side. It's like they don't have it anymore. You haven't been giving it to them. You've been breaking free. Now they miss it. Okay, now they want to give you commitment. You got two commitment cards here. Okay, mm -hmm. this person is missing you. You guys are not in communication. All right, you might not be talking to this person. You you have literally cut them off. You're finally standing in your... your um, 
power is finally standing in your strength. It took you a long time to get to this. I don't think this person believed that you were serious or something like that. They didn't believe that you would really leave or you would leave or you would really move on. Uh huh. Uh huh. You went to pursue your own fulfillment. You got tired of trying to fulfill everybody else's. Now you're trying to fulfill yours, and you are. You're much happier now since you have moved on. And now here they come. Thinking that they still have some sort of hold on you, okay? Now this person is ready to offer you every goddamn thing they got. They want a commitment with you. Watch their manipulating ass energies because they're very manipulating. They're coming through as a magician, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do see that you miss them. I see they miss you too. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With this five of cups right here. This person regrets whatever they put you through. Yeah, they're missing you. And they're very disappointed in themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on how they treated you. They took you for, they they took you for granted. Totally took you totally took you for granted. Mm-hmm. Totally took advantage of you. Mm-hmm. They regret it. They regret it big time too. I don't think they knew what they had in you. I don't think they knew. Uh uh. Nope. Because you didn't start standing in your strength or standing in your power until after you walked away. And when you did that, this new energy emerged, okay? You might have been very submissive when you was trying to love them, when you was trying to be with them, okay? When you was trying to give them every goddamn thing they want, all right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. This person is very lonely. Even if they're with someone, they're lonely. They miss you. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. They crave you, okay? Mm-hmm. They're feeling like a first-class ass. This person is embarrassed by, by their behavior. They feel lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They feel lost like they lost you forever. Yeah, this person cries silently over you. This is some sort of internal tears that they, they cry for you, okay? They keep it to themselves. This person don't like to show emotions. Very cold, very distant. Okay, they don't like to show emotions, but they have it. Yeah, this person feels like they they that like... They have completely lost you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You were the one who made them feel important. You were the one who gave them love, unconditional love. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they rejected it. They rejected you. Too busy worrying about what other people would think. I don't think you had that that perfect look that they were looking for at first or that style that they was looking for because this person was too busy looking at somebody else, okay, when you was trying to be with them. They was too concerned about what other people thought or something like that, okay? However you look at it, this person totally misjudged you. Totally misjudged you. Let's pull some clarifiers. Now they want to come back. Hoping and praying that they still have have a hold on you, okay? Mm -hmm. They're going to come and say, but, you know, I thought you loved me. I thought we had love. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say, shit. All the loving I did to you and all the ass you gave me to kiss. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. We got angel of positivity. You in a very positive energy now, Virgo. This was very good for you to pull back your energy. Yeah. Enough was enough was enough. Your angels couldn't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You was definitely being protected and guided through this whole thing here. Okay. Very positive energy. Mm -hmm. You you done raised your vibrations big time. Okay. Some of you could have a birthday on August the twenty fifth, Virgo, with that twenty five at the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're very positive now. Mm -hmm. You don't. In fact, anything negative, you're just not inviting. You don't want it nowhere near you. You are definitely protecting your energy. Mm -hmm. We got angel of music. Some of you guys are magi are uh, ma magicians. You love music. I love music too. I keep it on all the time. It's healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can have a birthday September the twenty first. All right. Yeah, There's always a message in the music for you. All right, you might be getting messages from this person through song when you listen to music. You can hear this person apologizing to you. You can hear this person telling you that they love you. You can hear this person telling you that they want to see you, okay? You get messages through the music, all right? We have Angel of Communication. This person is definitely coming back. They're definitely coming in to communicate. This person wants to communicate with you. They miss you, okay? They miss you big time. All right, whoever this person is, whoever you guys had this disagreement with, you had this conflict with, they want they want a truce. They want to they want to wave the white flag, honey. They are waving that white flag. They want back in. 
They miss you very much. Very inspiring energy you are to this person. We have angel of inspiration. You inspire this person. You give them hope. You love them unconditionally. You was good to this person. All right. They took advantage of your kindness. Uh huh. This person was a piece of shit to you. Uh huh. And you feel this person has no loyalty. Uh -huh. They betrayed you. They backstabbed you. They didn't defend you or something like that. Okay. Some of you could have a birthday September the 18th. Okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, angels of the universe, okay? If you're, the universe is blessing you. You're getting exactly what you want right now. You think about it, and you're going to bring about it, okay, Virgo? You're definitely in that manifestation energy yourself, okay? Very powerful energy. You're, you're, you're like, the, you have the Midas touch. I've been saying that the past couple of Virgo read, Okay. You have, you're like King Midas right now. You have the Midas touch. What you think about, you bring about. All right? Whatever it is your heart's desire, you're going to get. The universe is going to make sure. It looks like some of you guys are, are praying for a healing right now. Okay? You're praying to be stronger or something like that. You're praying to get out of this toxic situation or this toxic relationship, this one-sided relationship. Whatever it is, you're definitely going to get out of it. Okay? Whatever you've been praying, your prayers are being answered. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you want this person to change. You want this person to do better. And they just won't or something like that. Spirit come through. Oh, these cards are all mixed up. Give me a minute. Let me turn it around. Okay, there we have it. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have angel of self-worth. Okay, you are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. And this is what you're doing. Uh-huh. You're no longer tolerating this fuck shit. Whatever, so whoever this person was who you were connected to, who wants to come back and apologize, or they want to come back and, you know, wave that red, that white flag with you. Yeah, they went back in. Mm -hmm. because they feel that you they're losing you and they're losing you because you're discovering your self-worth angel of union a partnership is blessed and destined for greatness but it looks like y'all will have a union uh-huh it's like you're teaching this person a lesson or something like that you're teaching this person not to fool with you not to take advantage of you to recognize who you are and what you are okay you pulled back your energy and now you got their attention all right you got their attention now Lord have mercy. We got the goddess of psychic protection. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. Okay? No one can harm you. You're protected. All right? You're protected. Your angels, the universe, your ancestors, your dream team, they all protect you. Okay? You have goddess of sacred path. Let go of logic and trust your intuition. Okay? Yeah, believe in yourself more. Trust in yourself more. All right? You're going to get the outcome that you want with this person, all right? We have goddess of sacred power. You are being encouraged to take a leadership role in your current situation. Yeah, you have took the lead here. You have taken, hey, baby, you pull back your energy and now you got, <laughs> you got this person's undivided attention now. Uh-huh. I don't think this person knew this side of you existed, okay? He was just too timid. You know, you roll with the punches for far too long without putting your foot down. And then this person is like, who's this? You know, I ain't know this side of you existed. All right. Uh -huh. Now they're getting a the wake up call on who you are. Spirit, can I have some clarifiers, please? Can I have some clarifiers, please? Give me some more messages with the clarifiers. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, we got aligning yourself with the universe. Yeah, you are you're stepping into your power. Yeah, you're not even paying this relationship no mind. You working on you, okay? You you're getting your relationship together with spirit, okay? Uh huh. Some of you are dating spirit right now, okay? We got tantric sex. This person thinks about you and masturbate to you or something like that. All right? This person likes to touch you or something like that. All right? They touch themselves thinking about you. This person is going to have some sort of connection with you without having a connection with you, okay? Hmm. Yeah. Some of you fear a fake apology. You just don't feel that this person can be genuine. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Yeah, they might have done this to you more more times than you care to admit. You take them back. They say they sorry. You, you leave them. They say they sorry. You take them back, and you like and this person is never going to get it. Okay, but it looks like they will. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got uh, sexual protection. Okay, make sure you use protection. Okay, if you're having sex with this person, all right. Yeah, it looks like you guys have been talking about your issues. Yeah, you've been talking to a friend or you vent at the nail salon or something like that. You've been talking about this issue with this person. Yeah, you've been coming up with your with your plan for a very long time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. you're putting them in a place. You have put someone in their place, point blank period. You have shut it down, okay? Mm -hmm. This person may feel that you're spoiled, okay? You may feel that they are spoiled, okay? You had to put them in their place, all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's a little immature, a little spoiled, you or your person, okay? Or they feel you are, all right? Or you feel they are. Somebody is. Yeah, this is a love story. This is a love story, honey, that's unfolded. Once upon a time, love story. We have the police. You might have to call the police on this person, or you might have to call the police. Somebody could be a police officer, okay, work for the government or something like that. Uh -huh. This person could be locked up. This person could be in jail that you're connected to. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. We got protection. Needed needed to be safe. Stay safe. Some of you are dealing with somebody who just won't let you go. Somebody's like angry at you for 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 you cutting them off. You might feel in danger. Okay? You might have to get a protection order from this person or something like that. Okay? Because you, this person just won't leave you alone and you're completely done. Yeah, you feel this is old news. This is outdated. I'm I'm done. Why you keep trying to come at me? Why you keep trying to get with me? Yeah, they still feel it's some sort of love story. And it, maybe one, at one time it was, but it went left real quick. Okay? You had to put this person in their place. All right? Yeah, we got brainstorming, ideas, problem solving, figuring shit out. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just learned how to focus on you. You're finally standing in your power, finally standing in your strength. You're no longer taking anymore. You have such a no-nonsense attitude right now, Virgo. You're just not taking any more fuck shit. It's like you're tired of being tired. You're tired of being disappointed. You're tired of being taken advantage of. And you're like, this ain't me. I don't do this shit, okay? Already knowing the tea. Yeah, this is something that you, you are well aware of, okay? Mm-hmm. You know this person is going to be in their fields. You know this person is going to take this hard, okay? Some of you are planning this. This is going to be some sort of gut punch, or it already is, okay? Yeah, you're about to divorce this person. Uh-huh, you got to break a contract here. You said enough is enough for those of you that's married. And if you're not married, it's going to have been some little long-term, you know, toxic-ass relationship. You done broke free. You done broke free. You are completely done. You said enough is enough, and too much is good for nothing. Uh-uh. You're totally done with this person. You're not going back. Mm-mm. Some of you are not going back, and some of you are, okay? Yeah, some of you are completely done, and for some of you, this is a love story that's just beginning, okay? Yeah. Somebody wants to spoil you. Yeah. After you put them in their place, all right, they're going to come back and do right by you. All right? They got a lot of childhood trauma, abusive past, self-sabotage, unhealed wounds. Okay, and this is not everybody, but some somebody is dealing with someone who has a lot of issues. Okay, and they got to fix that first. Yeah, they even got suicidal thoughts. This is a lost soul, suicidal ideation, extreme depression. Somebody's very depressed, and it's because of their actions towards you. Yeah, spirit is kicking their ass. They're getting a great deal of karma. All right? Uh-huh. Yeah, they got a deep sadness, honey. Rock bottom mentality. Uh-huh. In deep sorrow. This person is drinking. This person is partying. This person is shopping. This person is trying to do everything they possibly can to forget you. Okay? To, like... Forget about what happened here, and it's just not working, okay? You might have blocked this person. This person can't reach you. They can't talk to you. You haven't talked to them in a, in a long time. This is this person is taking it hard, okay? This person, yeah, the tension is building, okay? Misunderstanding, sexually, sexually frustrated, walking on eggshells. Uh-huh. This person is really, really um, taking this hard. Because you have cut them off. You're not giving them anything, okay? Yeah, you feel they're too dark. You feel they got dark intentions. You don't trust this person. Wanting to control you, manipulating you, manipulating your self-worth, your self-esteem, mind games. They play too many mind games. Some of you don't feel this person has 
any good intentions towards you. Yeah, some of you feel that you would, you know, this is an enemy. You were sleeping with the enemy. This person has very low self-esteem, okay? Uh, body image issues, obsessive personality, feeling really down on themselves or their appearance. We got overeating or undereating, something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Lordly, Lordly. This person is talking about you a great deal, asking friends about you, seeking advice from family members, trying to spread gossip or lies, talking to their therapists about you. Yeah, this person is ready to come towards you because they can't forget you. They can't let this go. Uh -uh. This person also could be secretly jealous of you, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is, all right, whoever it is. You know who this person is to you, okay? They're secretly jealous of you, jealous of your success, jealous of your strength, jealous of your know-how, okay? Jealous of your comeback. Yeah, they just, you know, it's just an underlying jealousy that they have for you, okay? Fear you leaving them for someone better, sleeping with the enemy, uh-huh. You got some sort of secret haters around you, okay? Mm-hmm. And this is what don't sit well with you because some of you can feel it. You light worker energy. You can feel it. You know this person is not healthy for you or something like that. Oh, it could have been some sort of domestic abuse or restraining order. Fearful legal matters, physical abuse. For some of you, you had to fight this person all the time. This person could have been bullying you, trying to, you know, trying to beat you down to make you feel less than them. Okay? You was too confident for them. All right? Now they are in deep ass regret because they have nobody now, okay? Thinking of you heavily, facing karma for poor decisions, going over the situation in their mind, wishing they had treat you be treated you better, okay? Uh huh. They had to lose you to recognize you, okay? They had to lose you to see what they have done here, okay? Uh huh. This is some sort of soul tie you have with this person. Codependent bonding, toxic back and forth relationship, holding on uh, to you. Uh huh. For selfish motives, jealous, possessive thoughts. Okay. Lord have mercy. This person trying to tie you to them, or they tried to, but it didn't work. Yeah, this is a very non-committal energy anyway. Okay. They didn't know how to be in a committed relationship with you. Okay. If they were in a committed relationship with you, it didn't go well. Okay. They was always unhappy. They was always angry. They was always yelling. They was always mad or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, very charming energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got being controlled, emotional abuse, controlling what you do, deep dependent, deeply feeling deep dependent on you. Someone, something, feeling like a prisoner. Yeah, you got away from something that you really shouldn't have been in from the door, okay? Yeah, and this is not going to be for all of you, but you know if it's you. Okay, you know if this resonates with you. And if this resonates with you, you got out of something you had no business being in, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your spirit guys was never going to let you stay there. You was just going to get your lesson and you was going to be out the door. It was something you had to get out of that. It was a lesson that had to be learned. You got to learn these lessons or you're going to keep going through it, okay? Yeah. So whatever this person did to you, they regret it now. They could have been very controlling, very noncommittal, Okay. This was definitely this was definitely some sort of soul tie that you had to complete. This person was really jealous of you, though. Yeah, jealous of your know-how, jealous of your success. Okay. Yeah, but you're definitely regaining your control back. Okay. Yeah, you done took your control back. For those of you that was married to this person, you're definitely divorcing them. All right, you're getting out of it. All right. Somebody's getting a divorce. You or your person, all right? Yeah. This is fixing what's broken. Mm -hmm. This person wants to come back and fix this. This is somebody that you left. You broke up with. You're no longer with them. They won't let go, though. They miss you. They keep trying to come back. They're not having any good luck. This is why karma is kicking their ass up and down the street, okay? This is why they're trying to come in. They're hurt. They hurt. It's like they thought you was going to continue to take it. They thought you was going to keep taking their fuck shit. And your goodbye, your goodbye was serious. Your goodbye cut off their air, okay? This person needed you more than they realized. So they really thought you was going to continue to take it. 
Yeah, they still holding on. They still holding on. You done said goodbye. You done cleaned out the house. You done drove away. Yeah, you left quite an impression on this person. This person can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, they need you. They miss you. You were something important to them. They love you. They just didn't treat you right, okay? They wasn't good to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what you did. You released it. You released that energy, honey. You have grown. We got growth and expansion. You're doing you now. Okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, you're very withdrawn. You don't have nothing to say to this person anymore. All right? Lord, Lord, Lord. Spirit come through. What a time is it? Yeah, blessings is coming your way or has come your way since you have done so. All right? You have cut this person off. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Loyalty. This is what you want. This is what you seek, okay? Uh-huh. This person might have been dropping the ball when it came to that loyalty. Yeah, they didn't give you balance in this situation, all right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. This person treated you like you were some sort of enemy? They treated you like you was out to hurt them or something like that? Yeah, you're on to a whole new start. You got a fresh start here. Yeah. You don't care anymore. You done moved on. Yeah, that's just like the, uh... That's just like the, uh... That's just like the uh, fool card. I couldn't get it out. Lord, have mercy. That's just like the fool card. You got a new beginning. You got a fresh start. You said enough is enough and too much is good for nothing. You're not taking it anymore. Uh-uh. You don't want to. Uh -huh. You got a sincere apology coming from this person. Oh, this person really is sorry. Yeah. They really is sorry. Just take your apology. Don't, that don't mean you have to take them back, okay? They have some shadow work to do. They got some inner child issues that they really need to address, okay? This person needs to grow up. This person has issues, all right? They're holding on to something that's bothering them from their childhood, okay? They need to go see a therapist and figure that shit the hell out. We got codependent energy. This person is very codependent. This person might want somebody to take care of them, okay? They might want you to take care of them. And you said, no, I tried. That shit didn't work, okay? We have options and we have decisions, okay? You're moving on. We have you have made your decision and you got you might feel this person is way too immature for you. All right. And this person is hurt because they thought you was gonna continue to be their mommy or their daddy. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You feel they're sneaky as fuck, you don't trust them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all they can think about is you. All right. Uh-huh. And if you're here male, all you can think about is her. All right. Spirit come through. Yeah. There's some sort of trust issues here. Okay. You don't you don't feel the same with this very immature energy. It's like you took it for as long as you can take it. Okay? Uh-huh. You took it for a very long time. Yeah, it, this was some sort of illusion here. Things wasn't what it seemed in this relationship. And yeah, in this committed relationship, things was not what it seemed. You were in a committed relationship with this person, but things wasn't what it seemed. Something wasn't real. Too many insecurities, okay? And it was nothing that you could do about that. You might have tried to make this person feel secure. You might, might have tried to make this person feel loved, feel like you was there for them. But everything you tried, they fought against it, okay? The harder you fought for this person, the harder they fought against this relationship. And you said, all right, I'm done. All right, this person triggers you now. They may have thought of this person. Your stomach hurt. You get a headache. You go, ugh. They come into some sort of realization. <laughs> they come into some... <laughs> I crack my own self up. I'm talking some. The mere thought of them, you go, ugh. <laughs> For some of you, the mere thought of this individual, you do go, ugh. All right. Yeah, you guys are in no contact. You don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to see this person. This person is coming to this realization that it was them that made them lose you, okay? Yeah. You were some sort of comfort zone for this person. You made them feel safe. You made them feel at home. And now that they don't have that, this person is losing it, okay? Losing their freaking mind, but they bought that. Whatever whatever they lost in this connection with you, they bought it, okay? Yeah, this was some sort of spiritual lesson for them. Somebody's really into music. Somebody might even play the piano, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what else we got, spirit. 
What other messages do you have? You know, some of you are definitely light workers here. Definitely very intuitive energy. Hands down. Okay. Very intuitive energy. Mm hmm Yeah. I like who I'm becoming. You're very comfortable in your skin now. You like who you've been coming here. You like who this new this new person who has emerged through all this uh turmoil, all this trauma, all this negative energy, you know, all this drama, all this pain and all this dysfunction. You like who this person is, okay? You left somebody feeling stupid. I feel stupid. Okay? You left this person feeling like a dunce, okay? Yeah. We got rejection, okay? This person might have rejected you, all right? Now they feel rejected, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we got hush child. Your ancestors got this. Your ancestors was protecting you through the whole time. This whole time they were protecting you, okay? Your ancestors is the ones that's giving you strength to recognize who you are and no longer tolerate this person's rejection. Okay? Because when you was pursuing this person, when you was trying to be with this person, this person fought you tooth and nail. You said, okay, I'm done. Bye. Now here they come. Yeah. Now they feel some kind of way. Lord, ain't that nothing? The nerve of them. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The nerve of them. Spirit come through. Now they feeling some kind of way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ain't that how it always go? Yeah, your ancestors had something to say about this. We got we got to say their name, ancestors, okay? To the ancestors, known and unknown, say their name, okay? You guys have been calling on your ancestors. You might have been burning your ancestors' money. Your prayers have been answered, okay? Whatever you ask them to help you with, they're there for you. They're riding with it. They're coming through. Don't call on them if you don't uh, want them, okay? Mm -hmm. You might have said to this person, who the fuck do you think I am? All right? You might have asked that person. You said, I don't know who the hell you think I am. All right? Who the fuck do you think I am? All right? You stood up to this person and you walked away. This was possibly a Libra you went through this with, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, know that this, this Libra is hooked on you now, okay? All right? Some of you are dealing with a Libra. Uh -huh. Could have just been an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or uh, Aquarius. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got rejection is redirection. Yeah. This person then rejected you and rejected you till you have redirected yourself, honey. Your ancestors did that for you. They help. They help, honey. They came through. And they rejected you. They redirected this whole energy. They said enough is enough. You can't keep. You can't keep going through this with this person. All right. Enough is enough. Uh huh. Yeah. I swear on everything. Ancestors left you everything that you need. Call on them. All right. And this is what you guys have been doing. All right. You're tapping into your aunt, to your ancestors. You're calling on your dream team. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. You took a lot of disrespect from this person. All right. When well, you know you deserve respect. Okay, next time you have to choose wisely. Watch what you pick. All right? Stop going below the belt. All right? Uh-huh. Stop going below the bar, I mean. Yeah, raise that bar. Some of you are dating way out of your league. And it's not a it's not a good out of your league. You're you're out of their league. I should say it like that. All right? Think about you all the fucking time. This person is stay with you on their mind. This person is low-key obsessed over you, too. Be very mindful of that, okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Spirit come through. Let me have some more messages, please. Yeah, some of you here with retail therapy. You stay shopping, stay ordering Amazon, stay running to the mall, stay ordering something. You don't care as long as a pack package at the door. Some of you drive a BMW. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This person is obsessed with you. We have obsession. Okay? This person is not going to walk away from you. Uh huh. Yeah, they're watching you too. They're waiting and they're watching. Lord, have mercy. It's like they're waiting to catch you off guard. So stay stay uh, protected. Especially if this is a nut case. Okay? All right? Watch your back. Yeah, this person is spying on you. Okay? Someone is spying on you. Watching your every move, watching everything that you do. Yeah, but you're very strong. You don't walk alone. You have a powerful team with you, okay? Yeah. 
You walk in your strength. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, somebody is good and crazy. Uh huh. Crazy in love over you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody don't want things to change. They they mad at you for changing. You took it for far too long, so they like you know what's what's wrong with you now? Damn, you been taking it. Okay. Uh huh. Spirit come through. You're definitely manifesting, Virgo. You're manifesting any and everything that you want right now. Okay? Not to worry. Nothing is going to bother you. Nothing is going to hurt you. Nobody's going to be able to get to you or anything like that. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this read. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. Ashe.